In this last video, we talk about and created a GET API using Express.js. In this video, we are going to take the second step, which will be the creating a POST and a PUT API. We will first discuss what, what exactly these APIs are used for, and then we are going to create an, these APIs. Hey everyone, this is Kamran, and I'm an experienced full stack web developer. And in this video series, I'm teaching if Express.js and I'm teaching how you can create your own web application APIs using Express.js. Let's talk about the post API. So whenever we want to get the data from the server, we use get API in the similar manner. If you want to add some data to the server, so let's say you are asking your users to fill some form. In that case, you have to push that data to the server and server will save that data in database or something. So in that case, you will not use get to add the data to the server. You will use a post API. So post API to have a special functionality to add a big data in, in its request. The POST API request can contain a body which could be a in any form. So mostly we use JSON form to put the data on the server. Let's try to create basic POST API and try to post some data to the server. So how do we create a POST API? So we already have created GET API in the last, last video and the similarly we can create a POST API as well. All we have to do is to change this GET to post so once i say app dot post this will be converted into a post api for the post api you will not get the data into in query object instead of that you will get that into body so i will change that to body so i will get my data in this body if we want to test this out we can't simply use browser to make the post call so whenever we enter any url in the browser that is basically a get api so before the post api we are going to use a new application which will be helpful for you as well to make and test the other apis so we are going to use postman so postman is an application which you can use to generate and simulate api calls so i will add the url for postman in the description you can go to its official website and and then once you sign up for for it it is a completely free application on its website depending on your operating system you can download the app and install in it your local i have been using postman for a long time and so you can also use it to test out your app apis so once you install the postman and open it it will look something like this so I will go through basic features and you can use it to make the simple get post and put API through this postman. This is similar to what we have in the browser. So here you have to add the URL which will be localhost 5000 which this is the URL on which our application is running. So by default it is a get call you have to change it to post call and once this is post and we have this we will try to make the API call just make sure your web server is running so i will run it using npm start and here when i'm trying to make this post api i'm getting the response from this so now the task is to pass some body inside this post api and print that a body in that from this postman you can go to this body tab and here you have to select raw and in the raw you have to select application json we are going to send a json data in this body of this post api so here you can create json just open up curly braces and make normal object in this so this will be our body now once i hit this so on the output you will not see anything because we have to do some configuration in our express application in order to get this request body so in order to get the request body, we have to convert the body into a JSON, right? So for that, we are going to add a middleware in this app. And how to do that? We have to use app.use. So here you have to say express.json. So this will create all the content of the request into a JSON so now you have to restart your application so from postman i'm going to again hit this api now on the console you can see the body is passed to the api so similarly you can pass a big json or form data or anything we want to pass to the api 
and from here you can make any changes to you want to do in this json in your application so now we have created this post which we use to add the data in the uh, in your application and we get that data using a request dot body now is the time to go inside this put api so put why what is the main difference between put and post so just to differentiate between the functionality of both the apis we use post for adding the data to the server and we use put to update the data in the server let's say if i have a, a detail of a user in my database which i access using my break backend server and now i want to update that user data so how i can do that so in that case like i will i will get the data on the front end and then once the user updates the data on the user it will be sent through put api so put data is exactly same as post data you don't have to make any change in the postman you just have to change the method and then after updating the method you have to restart the application and then just simply try it out so once you hit this api you, you can see that the response is same i hope you understood how you can create post and put api in your expressjs framework thanks for watching the whole video happy coding everyone see you in the next video where we will explore the expressjs even deeper